hello and welcome back and thank you for subscribing to my channel paint with gloria so let's get started okay what we're doing here is we're going to take some white and blue and these are acrylics because we're going to do the background in acrylic so it can dry so that we can um, do the red cardinal. So we're just going to go ahead and just do the sky in acrylics. And once this is dry, we should only take maybe 15 to 30 minutes to dry depending on how light or how thick you apply it. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray mist water on it so that the waters can flow evenly. And that should dry very quickly since it's so, so thin. So I'm just swerving my brush back and forth, making sure I cover the whole canvas, which is 8 by 10. I want it a little darker. So I'm just applying a little more blue. And this is just the sky. The background is just the sky in acrylics, not in oils. If you want to do the background in water mixable oils, you can do that. The reason I don't do it is because then when I do my red cardinal on top of the wet oil, colors will mix and I don't want that. But I noticed that the sides are a little bit wet and I got time. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab me a cup of coffee and give it another few minutes. Hey, I'm back. It seems like everything is dry. So let's get ready with the sketch. I sketch on tracing paper or uh, cardinal. You can do that if you like. I just cast it with pencil, actually with charcoal pencil. And you decide if you want them facing to the left or to the right. I'm going to put mine facing to the left. Go ahead and sketch it. Pause your video and here we go. We're back and everything is sketched. I'm going to move my items out of the way. I just put them there so that you can see what I was using. My pliers, of course you'll need the pliers because some of my oils get top really get stuck and I need my little mini pliers to open them up. All right, well, here are the brushes that I'm going to be using. They're very small and they are made for acrylics and oils. These are not watercolor. Don't forget your paper towel to clean them. I'm going to start with this one. It's almost like a quarter inch. Okay, we're going to pick up some red. This is cat red, which is lighter than crimson. And you're just going to start painting in your sketch. And as you go along, just follow your sketch and use the strokes according to your sketch. Water. I forgot my water, so I squirted some a little bit of water into my palette. Remember, this is water mixable oil, so you need at least an ounce or less of water. Just need a tiny water just to have it handy in case you want to tap into it and make it thinner because the paint is really thick. It helps to for it to flow more smoothly. See, I'm following the shapes of my sketch. I usually don't put a lot of paint on my palette, especially the water mixable oils. I think I just put enough uh, that I think I will be needing. I don't like to waste it. They're not inexpensive. Um, so what I do is I just put enough and then if I need more, I just get more from the tube. 
and whatever's left over could be used uh, anywhere from one to three or four days, depending on how you store them. Go slow, especially in the little corners and in the points. Go slow. There's no need to rush. Take your time. Sometimes I move fast. Um, but if you feel that I did, just pause your video. Get caught up to where I'm at. And start over. Start your video. Not over, over, but what I mean, stop playing again. Start your video to play again. That way you have caught up to where I'm at. This is my husband's favorite bird. We have a tree out in the back uh, where the deck is. And uh, actually, it's a couple of huge trees. And they seem to be nesting there because we see them in and out of that tree, uh, both male and female and some babies. We have the feeder out there, so it's a pleasure to watch them. And they don't even know we're looking at them, but we see them almost every day. Beautiful color. I can see why it's my husband's favorite bird. Even our grandbaby boy, he seems to enjoy watching them. One of Gar's gift. I hope you're enjoying this and, and again once a month I'm going to continue to do at least one painting in water mixable oils uh, in case you want to try this new medium. And um, and I know you'll like it because I, I liked it and, um, and I kept with it. So now I do acrylics and water mixable oils. Now you notice I picked up some, uh, what is that, crimson. Crimson is darker than the cat red. So just to kind of give it some shadows in certain areas, that's what I picked up. If you want a little darker, depending on the color you're using, uh, you can add a tab uh, or a pinch of black to kind of make it dark red to give it the shadows so it can stand out so it can look like 3D. I'm moving real slow here around the areas, the small areas, because I don't want to uh, overdo it. And they have to go back and uh, pull up some of that paint which you can't pull off. If you put too much, you can pull up with a paper towel or even a cloth, but I like to use paper towels. See here, I'm following the feathers. Following the feathers. Because you don't want to go, you don't want your strokes to go down when the feathers are going straight out to the back. So that's how you want to put your brush, the stroke going towards the back. Everything is pushed back. 
push back. See, by using a darker color, it gives you the shadow, gives you that effect of feathers. See here, I did use a little bit of black, a type of black into my crimson just to make it even a little darker. Trying to shape it so it can look more like feathers. I think the red cardinal is one of the easiest bird we can paint. Um, the blue jay is another easy one. Parakeets. Anything with lots of colors are pretty easy. The hardest bird I find that um, I paint is the hummingbird. I think that's, I mean, for me it is. Um, soon you'll be watching a video on uh, one of the lakes here where we live at. And um, it's a beautiful lake and it has swamps, lots and lots of swamps. So you'll be uh, painting a swamp or a couple swamps alongside with me. That should be fun. And you'll see how that's also one of the easiest to paint. So look forward to that one. Stay tuned. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the, my channel, uh, please make sure you do because you don't want to miss out. You want to ring the bell so you can get notifications on when my new videos come out, which is once a week. If, uh, if I'm lucky and I have the time, I'll do two. Boom. I promise at least one once a week. Now remember, if you have too much um, paint on your brush, don't be afraid to grab your paper towel and uh, wipe it off. I'm just kind of moving the paint around here and there, trying to get that 3D dimensional look on the red cardinal. I'm ready to do the beak, but I forgot to put on my yellow on my palette. So we'll grab some and put it on the palette. I grab very little. Again, I use my palette to get it out because um, sometimes those tubes get really hard to squeeze. So I use my palette knife and I use very little. We don't need much, very little yellow. You hardly can see it on my palette, but it's there. I'm mixing it with the red so we can get orange. I think I want a little more reddish between orange and red. Put it on and if you think it's too red, put in more yellow. Give it that orangey look. You can always make two of these. You can make two facing each other, and then when you put it on your wall, you can put uh, one higher than the other slightly, and they'll be looking at each other. It'll look beautiful on the wall. Or it can be a Christmas gift. Christmas is around the corner. So you can also do that. Make a few as you practice, 
sign them, date them, and give them as gifts for Christmas. Anybody will appreciate a beautiful gift like this. Oh, and, and it's funny because if you do want to see it on the wall, uh, sometimes they will put it away. But if you frame it for them, which is be nice and easy because uh, it's a standard size, 8 by 10, give it to them in a frame ready to be hanged. So they'll hang it up as soon as you give it to them. Beautiful gift. Well, I just mixed the burnt umber with a little bit of white to make a, a light brown for the legs. You could also use uh, burnt sienna. I should have used burnt sienna. It has more like a wood look, but uh, burnt umber also works. So it's up to you. Just trying to make it a little darker so it can stand out. Move slow around the legs because you don't want to make them too big. I shaped his eyes using a little red around my um on my brush. Just to round off the eye. I didn't use black. I used the red. To go around the eye. Which means going around the black. I noticed in some spot. He could still use a little bit of dark red. So I just picked up some of that. If you like the way your bird is looking, the colors you used, um, you don't have to go back to change anything. Leave it as is. Because again, once sometimes we like something and we're trying to Make it even better on our first try. Sometimes I personally mess up. So don't do what I do when it comes to doing certain things like that. If you like it, I wouldn't touch it. We'll move on to the next step. Again, I'm pulling the white, just a tap of white for his little eye as well as the twig that he'll be sitting on. I just mixed it in with some burnt umber, mixed in with the white. Trying to get the color I like. I'm trying to get more light brown. There we go. 
Now I am painting this twig um, like a brownish, but if you want to paint a green one, you can paint a green one or something like a cedar if he's standing on a cedar tree. Uh, it's up to you um, the color you use. I'm using brown, but again, you can use any color you like. My little branch is brown. You can do as many twigs or as many little branches as you like. I'm going to do my thin ones now. So I picked up my liner, the one inch liner. Okay. Here we go. This is when it's hard for me to decide how many little branches and twigs I want on this. Cause they look so beautiful I just enjoy doing them but I'm conscious of that that I'm making a video so there's limits we don't want to spend 15 minutes just on branches and twigs but they are beautiful so I'll just do a few more then I'll stop I'm almost done. Little, uh, just, uh, just one more and we'll see. We'll get this baby going. We'll be signing it soon. And you'll be on your way. You see what I mean? Look at me. I keep going and going and going. Come on, Gloria. Come on, Gloria. Let it go. Let it go. You could also do a winter scenery. See, I'm adding black to all this little mixture of color because I want to sign it so it makes sure that it's be seen from far like I said four feet see my signature you can make it into a snow scene too put the carnal on, on poncetas on, on the snow on the twig well guys I hope you had a wonderful time I'm glad that you're still coming back and joining me. I'll be seeing you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amigos. Okay, just when I thought we were done, um, let's put in the black. Uh, actually, I'm using paints gray, which is a uh, black. So let's do this. Let's see. Put on. There you go. I think that's better. Let's do this.
and we're going to put some on the top pick up some more gonna go around his eye leaving some red around his eye kind of pushing it back that way and I'm gonna give him a little bit more black here beautiful Awesome. Now I think he's complete now.